Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today I have the Logitech G Cloud. This is Logitech's game streaming device. It looks pretty cool, honestly. Uh, when I first saw it in images, leaked images, I was like, it looks like a Fisher Price toy, but this actually looks good. It's got nice grips, it's got a very good hold, very comfortable to game on. Seven inch display, it's a 1080p display, it's also 60 hertz, so it's not a high refresh rate, but Xbox Game Pass is locked at 60 hertz, and this is built for your game streaming needs. Now, you can play Android games here because it does run the Snapdragon 730, 720G processor. It's got 64 gigabytes of RAM. You can expand the storage with, of course, expandable storage here with a micro SD card. Um, but let's talk about the feel first. It's very comfortable. The D-pad, the joysticks, the buttons feel really nice. Shoulders and triggers are good. Rest comfortably in your hands. And I enjoyed using this as just a dedicated gaming device uh, when I actually went on the trip. Now, this is a game streaming device first before anything else. So let's talk about that and what it actually brings to the table. So you've got two menu UIs. You can switch to a tablet mode, which gives you like a standard Android tablet, run Android 11, or you've got this new gaming UI, which I do like, where you can cycle through your apps, uh, this also, of course, shows you all the apps you have. You can pin apps to the front to quickly access. The one thing I'll mention is that switching between apps in this mode, you have to end one app to go into another. Whether you're going from Facebook or whether you're going from game to game, that's just the way the menu is set up. The one thing I'll mention now, because you see later, is that there is no way to remap buttons, and that's very key and important, especially when you're going to play playing a lot of Android games. So how is that game streaming feel? It feels really nice. It feels well playing Xbox Game Pass, works well, you can launch the games. Although I kept on getting a prompt that said, no controller found, even though this is technically a built-in controller here, but it still worked. Uh, Forza played well, Halo played well. Again, you're only limited here to your Wi-Fi connection, how fast it is, but I really enjoyed it and it was very comfortable. But this brings me to the use case for Android games. Because you have a 720G, can you play your Android games? Yes, you can, but you're gonna be disappointed because this is an older processor from about two or three years ago. So your performance is not that good. You're not gonna be the highest performance. And when you look at where the price point is, because I haven't mentioned it yet, this device is priced at $349. So you have to start doing the math. What am I getting for 349 for a dedicated game streaming device? Now, yes, you can stream Xbox Game Pass, you can stream directly from your PC with Steam, uh, and you can play local Android games. So how is that Android game experience? So most of my games, I couldn't max them out uh, like I can do with other devices, even within this price range. Um, but they still played well, they played quite, de quite decently. Uh, the one thing you'll notice is that you could not use, and I cannot use, the physical buttons uh, for games like Call of Duty Mobile, Apex, or PUBG Mobile. Just couldn't do use them, and of course had no way to remap those buttons. So I'm sure that's something they can do, but I don't have that ability yet. Um, the only game that actually worked was, was uh, Diablo Immortal, and that worked pretty well. So again, it's something that is feasible. Now in terms of battery life, it worked well. Like I used this actually on my trip to Antigua. I went to Antigua this last uh, weekend. I was able to use it on the plane. I had fast enough internet to connect on the flight and actually game on there using uh, this device. So that was actually cool to be able to use it on the flight, also use it at the hotel for a little bit. It is versatile. You know, I like the fact that it is versatile, but it now brings me back to the question. Is it good? And uh, is it worth picking up? So as a game streaming device, it does that job really well. Uh, there's no issues whatsoever and it just functions. I like that aspect about it. But as an overall gaming device, especially playing Android games, I felt it lacking because I look at that price point and I go 349 versus just me using my smartphone. Now my smartphone could be at different price points from all, you know, all the way from 300 all the way to 1000, depending on what you have. But you can always do that on your device and you can get like a gaming controller, whether it's the Xbox controller, uh, a Razer controller or Backbone if you have an iPhone and you're good to go. So I still am not convinced as to why I need to pick this up. Plus at that price point, I can get a Nintendo Switch and I can also get 
an extra controller. Uh, again, like the Razer controller. So I can get more for what I'm paying for and still play what I want to play. That is the question and that's where I think uh, Logitech has not convinced me yet with this device. Hopefully they can and they can improve it, especially with a future model. But I think where this stands now, this is probably a device that you should not pick up unless you're getting a really good deal. Honestly, it just doesn't fit the price momentum for me. I wish it was priced probably at around maybe 150, 199, a little bit more convincing, but right now it's just not there. But in terms of gaming though, it does play those games pretty well. The games function, especially your game streaming games function well. It's just that when you're playing your, your Android games, you're pretty much using the screen all the time. And again, in this landscape mode, it just feels too wide, too big, doesn't work. Or you can just pick up an Android laptop for cheap. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the Logitech G Cloud? Do you think it's worth it at 349? Or do you think, nah, I'll pass, I'll wait for something else, or hopefully the price drops? Let me know your thoughts, leave them down below, and go ahead and check out our next video because we have some awesome stuff for you on the channel. It's Thunder saying thank you and Always enjoy entertainment.